हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ लेक्चरर आदिती अनिल कुशारे मास्टर ऑफ फार्मसी इन क्वालिटी अशुरन्स टेक्निक्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्सपेरिमेंट्स फ्रॉम फार्मास्युटिक्स टू सो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन टू सॉलिड डोसेज फॉर्म्स दॅट इज पावडर्स अँड अदर ओरल युनिट डोसेज फॉर्म्स द सॉलिड डोसेज फॉर्म्स आर अवेलेबल मोस्टली इन युनिट डोसेज फॉर्म्स सच ॲज टॅबलेट्स कॅप्सुल्स कॅचेट्स पावडर्स ऑर टॅबलेट ट्रायचुरेट पावडर्स The pharmaceutical powder is a mixture of finely divided drug and or chemical in the dry form. They are solid dosage forms of medicament which are meant for internal and external use. Classification of powders are bulk powder for internal use, bulk powder for external use, simple and compound powder for internal use, powders enclosed in gadgets and capsules and fifth one compressed powders that is tablets that are also known as tablet triturates. So first one we will discuss about the bulk powder for internal use powders are dispensed in bulk when accuracy of dosage is not important they are supplied in the wide mouth container that permit the easy removal of spoonful of powder examples of that bulk powder for internal use are rhubarb powder bpc that is known as a grigory's powder compound bismuth powder second one that is a bulk powder for external use these are non potent substances these powders are supplied in the cardboard glass or the plastic container the dusting powders are supplied in a perforated or the sifter top container the classification of this bulk powder for external use is first of all dusting powder then insufflation snuffs and dentifrices we will discuss about dusting powder these are generally applied to the skin in very fine state to avoid the local irritation hence the dusting powders should be passed through sieve number 80 to enhance their action classification of dusting powder is medical and surgical there are two classes we will discuss about a medical these are used mainly for superficial skin conditions and sterility is rarely essential medical dusting powders are not intended for application to the open wounds or areas of broken skin surgical one these are used in the body cavities and major wounds on burns and on the umbilical area of infants hence they must be sterile insufflations these are medicated dusting powders meant for introduction into body cavities such as nose throat ears and vagina with the help of apparatus known as insufflator insufflations should be finely divided powder so that a stream of fine particles of medicaments get applied to the site of application snuffs these are finely divided solid dosage forms of medicament which are inhaled into the nostrils for its antiseptic bronchodilator and decongestion action snuffs are dispensed in the flat metal boxes with the hinged lid then next one fourth class that is dentifrices which is tooth powders these are applied with the help of toothbrush for cleaning the surface of the teeth they contain the suitable detergent or the soap some abrasive substances such as calcium sulfate magnesium carbonate sodium carbonate sodium chloride are used in the fine powder a strong abrasive substance should not used as it may damage the tooth structure then next third class that is the simple and compound powder for internal use this is the main class of the powder each individual dose is enclosed in the paper in the divided powders the number of ingredient may be one simple powder or more than one that is compound powder the minimum quantity of powder should not less than 100 mg simple powder a simple powder contains only one ingredient either in a crystalline or the amorphous form which should be reduced to fine powder and wrapped as individual doses compound powders compound powders contain the two or the more than two substances which are mixed together and divided into desired number of individual doses fourth one that is powders enclosed in gadgets gadgets are the solid do- unit dosage form of the drugs these are molded from rice paper they are used to reduce to sorry enhance the nauseous or the disagreeable powders and are available in the different sizes to hold the drugs from 0.2 to 15 g of powder gadgets are of two types that is wet seal gadgets and dry seal gadgets 
डायरेक्शन फॉर दिस इज इमर्स इन वॉटर फॉर फ्यू सेकंड एंड स्वेलो विथ अ ड्रॉट ऑफ वॉटर देन फिफ्थ वन दैट इज अ टैबलेट ट्राइचुरेट्स दीज आर द पाउडर्स मोल्डेड इन टू द टैबलेट्स मोल्डेड टैबलेट्स आर फ्लैट सर्क्यूलर डिस्क यूजली कंटेन अ पोटंट सब्सटन्स विच इज मिक्सड विथ लैक्टोज डेक्स्ट्रोज और सम अदर सुटेबल डायलुएंट पैकिंग एंड स्टोरेज पैकेजिंग एंड स्टोरेज of this tablet triturates are packed in an air tight container to protect from moisture general method of preparation of powders the during the powdering weighing and mixing there is a loss of powder which cannot be avoided therefore calculate the quantity for one extra powder than required it is difficult to weigh the quantity less than 2 grain or 100 mg as we know 1 grain is equal to 60 mg on dispensing balance therefore this quantity must be triturated with a suitable diluent such as lactose the crystalline substances are powdered separately and then weigh the required quantity of ingredient mix all the ingredients in the ascending order of their weight and mix thoroughly to obtain a homogeneous powder mixing of powders powders may be mixed by one of the following methods that is a spatulation trituration geometric dilution sifting and tumbling dispensing of powders involving special problem a number of problems arise while dispensing a powder containing volatile substances hygroscopic and deliquescent powder eutectic mixture efflorescent powders explosive substances and potent drugs so special considerations are done while dispensing such powders volatile substances first problem is hola for the volatile substances the volatilization of substances like menthol camphor and the essential oils may take place incorporation in the powders or should be wrapped in the wax paper and outer wrapper may be any thick paper then second one for hygroscopic and deliquescent powder the powder which absorb the moisture from the atmosphere such as ammonium chloride iron and ammonium citrate pepsin phenobarbital sodium bromide sodium iodide such substances are supplied in the granular form or should be double wrapped for deliquescent substances wrapping in aluminum oh, sorry ammonium foil or plastic cover is advisable third one that is for efflorescent powder some crystalline substances become wet or liquefy during trituration for an example caffeine citric acid ferrous sulfate etc this difficulty may be overcome by using the anhydrous salt or an inert substance eutectic mixture when two or more substances are mixed together they liquefy due to the formation of a new compound which has a lower melting point than room temperature example menthol thymol camphor salol etc an equal amount of any inert absorbent like magnesium carbonate light magnesium oxide kaolin starch lactose is mixed with eutectic substance packaging of powder for divided dosage form for internal use should be done appropriately double wrapping white demi paper gives inadequate protection to volatile hygroscopic and deliquescent substances unless it is lined with grease proof paper if greater moisture resistance is required use waxed paper the inner paper is cut a few mm smaller each way than the white demi and it is satisfactory to fold both the papers together sometimes it is necessary to wrap each packet externally in a aluminum foil so in next session we will discuss about the actual experiment experiment number 86 title of this experiment is to prepare and submit boric acid containing 1% of iodine 10 g in this we are going to study the solid dosage forms for external use proposition 1 use of solvent facilitates the subdivision and distribution proposition to iodine is soluble in alcohol which serves as a distributive agent learning objectives are to understand the purpose and method of preparation of dusting powder and ability to prepare and label a dusting powder with the liquefied substances apparatus required are glass mortar pestle spatula etc factor calculated as quantity required upon quantity given is equal to 10 upon 100 that is equal to 0.1 prescription is given over here by the symbol rx send 1/2 oz means ounce boric acid containing 1% of iodine as we know this is for 1/2 ounce 1/2 ounce as we know the 1 ounce is equal to 30 that's why 30 divided by 2 that is 1/2 ounce means 15 and 
वन परसेंट परसेंट स्टैंड फॉर वन ग्राम शुड बी डिजॉल्व इन हंड्रेड एम एल और हंड्रेड पार्ट वॉट एवर सो वन ग्राम इन हंड्रेड एम एल दट इज नथिंग बट वन परसेंट आइडियल सोल्यूशन सो लेट्स डिस्कस इन डिटेल अबाउट द फॉर्म्युलेशन फॉर्म्युलेशन टेबल टाइप कैटेगरी यूज और रोल ऑफ इनग्रेडियंट ट्रांसलेशन मीज द नेम ऑफ इनग्रेडियंट क्वांटिटी गिवन इन इंपेरियल सिस्टम फॉर प्रिपेयरिंग हंड्रेड ग्राम क्वांटिटी गिवन इन मेट्रिक सिस्टम टू प्रिपेयर अप टू हंड्रेड ग्राम टेकन क्वांटिटी शुड बी फॉर प्रिपेयरिंग टेन ग्राम बोरिक एसिड यूज एज अ प्रिजर्वेटिव क्वांटिटी गिवन इन इंपेरियल इज वन हाफ आउंस एज वी ऑलरेडी अर्लियर डिस्कस्ड वन आउंस इज थर्टी सो थर्टी अपॉन टू दैट इज फिफ्टीन ग्राम taken quantity should be 1.5 g that should be calculated with the help of factor iodine used as antiseptic and antibacterial quantity given in the imperial is 1% as we know 1% that is 1 g in 100 so for preparing 100 g 1 g quantity should be given in metric system so taken quantity should be 0.1 g this is also calculated with the help of factor alcohol used as a distributive agent to dissolve or to solubilize this iodine it is quantity given in imperial is quantity sufficient taken quantity for preparing 100 g that should be quantity sufficient to prepare a, uh, 100 g means on an average approximately 100 ml should be required and quantity taken in metric system that is quantity sufficient to prepare up to 10 ml or to prepare up to 10 g whatever direction for external use only to be used as directed by physician so we have this is a iodine this is a boric acid and this is alcohol so first of all i am going to take this iodine crystals into this glass mortar and after that i am going to add this alcohol into it and then properly mix and solubilize this iodine into this alcohol after proper mixing of this iodine crystals into this alcohol now i am going to add this boric acid into it and after that it is again properly triturated till its complete mixing now after complete mixing of it i am going to transfer it into this amber colored wide mouth bottle and then we will proceed for next labeling part so we will move towards labeling of formulation boric acid containing 1% of iodine 10 gram for abc that is the name of patient register number x y z which is the number given in the register dispatched by pqr name of pharmacist manufacturing date september 2020 storage condition store in cool and dark place for external use only and to be used as directed by physician manufactured by element pharmacy nasa so the result 